And the Minister of Health, Osage Haniri, says that over 2,000 lives have been lost uh, to COVID-19 since the pandemic started in Nigeria. Health Minister Dr. Osage Haniri said this in Yola, the Adamawa state capital, during the Presidential Steering Committee on COVID-19 in collaboration with the National Primary Health Care Agency on COVID-19's vaccination. Adamawa is the second state visited by the Presidential Committee on COVID-19 in the series of town hall interactions across Nigeria to afford the opportunity to rob minds with elders and strategize on citizens' engagement on the ongoing vaccination. Minister of Health Dr. Osage Hanere says the COVID-19 pandemic has already proven to be the greatest health threat to the generation, hence the need for the committee to do everything possible to protect the lives, livelihood and the national economy against its impacts. According to him, town hall meetings have evolved over the years as strong platforms for leaders of thought to deliberate on matters of common interest and concerns and to inform and mobilize the grassroots for participatory activities. Since Nigeria recorded its first case in February 2020, the federal government has put measures in place to protect lives and mitigate the devastating effect of community transmission. Nevertheless, the disease spread with unprecedented speed around the world, has taken millions of lives and has afflicted global economy. Some of the members of the Presidential Steering Committee say the town hall is timely and will go a long way in creating awareness to the citizens on the need for the ongoing COVID-19 vaccination. Consequently, any person who has visited Brazil, India and Turkey within 14 days preceding travel to Nigeria shall be denied entry into Nigeria, among other travel guidelines. We have a need to vaccinate adults against this virus called COVID. Many of us have already had two shots of the vaccine. So we are here today to really encourage all of you and all of us our families, our friends, our neighbors, to go ahead and get vaccinated as soon as we possibly can. The support of communities like those of Yola is instrumental in our national effort to ensure Nigerians are safe from COVID-19. Our priority is your health and well-being. With this development by the Presidential Steering Committee on COVID-19, it is expected that Residents of Adamo State will answer the call and submit themselves to the nearest healthcare center across the state for both the first and second doses of the vaccine. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.